Okay, um, I'm Shevek from Karmasphere. Um, how many people remember this? I'm somewhat afraid I might add an audience who didn't experience the 90s, but a few people remember this. Um, I actually got examined on the print cap file format once by somebody I was interviewing with for a job. It was Sousa, and they sat me down and they said, how do you configure a printer driver for such and such for memory? How do you run a Hadoop job? <laughs> this is some of the stuff that you have to deal with. And let's face it, XML was not designed to be written by humans. Um, you have to look into an awful lot of layers to actually understand what it is you need to do with a Hadoop job. Now, a lot of the infrastructures are written with the assumption that everything's going to work. And as you all know, when it goes wrong, who's had an error marked unknown error on any operating system at all? Most people. We've had a lot of them. Why hasn't someone written a GUI for this? It both can and should be easier. And what would we like from such a GUI? We like to be able to write jobs in such a way that we can see where the data is going. What happens between the mapper and the reducer? You create your input, you get your output. What actually happened in the middle? We don't live with print statements anymore. We can do better than that. Why, for example, do we still have to type URLs to file names? Why haven't we got a file chooser? What happened to this rich desktop user interface that we're so used to dealing with? You know, something that looks like this. Something where, when you click on a job, you actually get the behavioral graph so you can see where your mappers were, where your reducers were. We've now got it so you can click on this graph and it will tell you which task was executing at that time, open it up and everything just appears. This is our dream of making Hadoop easier for the users to use. So, it really is about users. You're real people, you're not computers. You have to be able to talk to Hadoop. What sort of questions do people ask about Hadoop? How do I write a job? There's an awful lot of boilerplate. You've got to get your head around MapReduce. It's a new way of thinking. Why can't we just have a template and emulator? You can. Did my job work? Now, I used to teach undergraduate students. They used to think that if it compiled, then it would de facto produce the right answer. But of course, the compiler can check things like that, can't it? Not quite true, as we all know. And Hadoop has this wonderful way of saying it didn't throw an exception. Therefore, it must have worked. Not quite true. Did you get the correct answer? Now, some of you will be used to tracing through your code and working out whether you've got the right answer. Some of you have had to deal with Sarbanes-Oxley or, or similar regulations where you've actually got to prove you've got the right answer. And some of you in here I know already deal with provenance through Hadoop jobs. Why can your debugger not help you trace data through the job to tell you whether you've got the right answer or not? The answer is, it now can. Or just, what happened? The latest Karmasphere debugging interface actually has a window entitled What Happened? And you'll be glad to know we spelt it correctly. <laughs> maybe nothing happened. Maybe it worked. Um, maybe it didn't. And we work out what happened and help you and tell you how to get it right. Um, it's called Karmasphere Studio. It is an ID for Hadoop. It's available for both Eclipse and NetBeans. It is great fun. We're going to be doing a demo of some of the features today, and I'm more than happy to take challenges from people, for people to say, how do I do this? My cluster's over there, I'm behind the firewall. All of these problems, we've actually gone out there, and we've done a lot of very difficult engineering to make this work. Every version, every operating system, the portability, the compatibility, it's actually quite difficult to make it work everywhere. Um, if you think you're the sort of person who gets off on this sort of challenge and actually wants a job doing it, also, come and speak to us. Thank you very much. Great, thank you, Shevek. And next we have Stefan of Data Mirror.